morning. Well, the inductees for the 2013 class of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame have been announced, and finally, Heart is in. Finally, <laughs> after three decades and more than 30 million albums sold worldwide, the iconic Seattle band is finally in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and uh, we are now joined by founding members of Heart, guitarist Roger Fisher and bassist Steve Foss, and good morning to you. Good morning. Good to have you guys. Thank you. How do you feel? It's overwhelming, mm -hmm. overwhelming. It's, it hasn't all sunk in yet, I'm sure. I mean, we're talking about over a decade of eligibility. You were nominated last year, and it didn't go through. So I, I think a lot of fans in Seattle, every year the nominations come up, we always talk about it. Where's Hart? Yeah, Where's and, Hart? and last year you were nominated and you didn't get in. Did, did you think that was your last best chance? Yeah. I did, and, for and, a while anyway. Did, does this mean a lot for you, Roger? Getting well, in? you know, yesterday uh, I was busy in the studio just wanting to make <laughs> make things right for this music we're working on, my brother and I, and uh, I, I was kind of oblivious to it, although I, I knew that it that had actually happened. But then when I went to Facebook and saw all the commotion and <laughs> and then I saw all these messages and all these voicemails and started hearing a few people talk, everybody else was so excited it made me really excited. Now we, we know your music. I mean it's you know growing up here in Seattle, I mean that the city really embraced you and then it was the Northwest that embraced you and, and we felt when you all went out and, and you conquered the world that you you took a, a bit of Seattle with you. And so it's so cool for all of us to be able to, to share this with you. Um, what does it mean? In turn, you, you look back at 30 years in music. I mean, what, what does it mean to think that you, you started this thing in a garage, you went on the world stage, and now you're honored I in this way? You know, when, when me and my buddy here <laughs> got here, we looked at each other and we, and we, we said, you know, it was just yesterday that we were saying, hey, Let's learn to play instruments. Let's learn to play guitar. <laughs> Wait, it started all the way, because a lot of people already know how to play, and they just look at each other and they say, let's join a band, man. We'll do it. <laughs> like, we all, we all think that we can do it, but the fact that you two were able to take it from that, the way he was describing it, to, to, to Dreamboat Annie uh, and to all of that. It's unbelievable. It's, it's like a one in a million. 20 million chance. And well, it, you, you had a one in a million voice fronting the band too with, with Ann Wilson and then Nancy joined the band later on. Uh, talk about the influence of the Wilson sisters. Well, it's, we can't, no one can take anything away from them, that's for sure. They're, they uh, really brought their uh, talents to the, to the band. What was it like as you moved into the 80s? Because I know that every band has its growing pains. And I know that you left in 80, I believe it was. Uh, 79. 79. Yeah. So I know that there was a lot going on with as far as the, what the sound of, of the band was going to be. So as you look back at how it evolved, both while you were there and, and, and now that you're doing your own projects, are you surprised by, by how it evolved? Or was that kind of where you saw it going as you, as you started? I was shocked that uh, Anna and Nance stopped writing for themselves and started using other writers, and I, I was saddened by that. And uh, I've been really happy lately with their more recent albums that they've been writing again because you know they are such great songwriters. Mm -hmm. Now you know one of the the defining characteristics, I guess, of Heart uh, early on was that you had a a female guitarist in the band with with Nancy, and 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 that's something that you know, really revolutionized rock and roll in some ways. Talk about that influence. Well, Nancy wasn't just, uh, you know, a pretty good guitar player uh, playing in a in a, uh, uh, a band. She was a really good guitar player who could and did uh, do solo shows uh, and held her own really well. So uh, when she and I started playing together, I was uh, I was taken aback by how good she was and and uh, uh, we both started playing mandolins together and I uh, I had a big crush on her of course like most guys <laughs> and I wrote this song called Sylvan Song uh, kind of to her and then she made the other part the other part of the duet uh, performance of it and uh, yeah it's the marriage of uh, her the skill and my skill uh, for a lot of the songwriting was a, a really, really special, magical thing. And then the marriage of all of us, uh, you know, my brother Mike being with Anne and me with Nancy, and then my old buddy Steve on bass, it was just a wonderful uh, 
uh, uh, combination of elements. Well, and you both have done quite quite a bit since then, and congratulations on, on all of your success. And I know that you have a, a concert coming up on Saturday that benefits Children's Hospital. Yeah, you know, it, it's the time of year when uh, you think of kids and uh, you just want to make Christmas as special as you can for them. And, and I was approached about uh, doing this benefit for children with cancer, and I thought, my God, that is a... But that's a hard thing to swallow. Uh, 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 your kid has cancer right at, at Christmas time, so we're doing this benefit Saturday down at Pier uh, 57 to raise money for uh, Children's uh, Hospital. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Roger Fisher and, and Steve Foss and the founding members of Heart, thank you so much for joining us here. Yeah, Rock and Roll Hall of us. Famers. Yeah. Thank you. I like Eight the sound of that. Congratulations yeah. once again. <laughs> All right, 954. And yesterday we told you about the worst movies of 2012. This morning's list, the best. We'll have those next.